Hey guys, welcome back to a new tutorial about how you can do an effect that can go from day into night and then also a sky replacement. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do just to show you how to do day into night, I'm gonna come to the effects, start typing day, drag the day into night footage on top. First thing you wanna do is remove match iMovie over here in the inspector so you get it darker and also you wanna protect your skin to get that color back. Um, if you want to adjust the brightness, you can. Now, of course, um, what we want to do just to do day to night, we can set a keyframe at the beginning of your footage and then go through, I say right about where she makes eye contact and then bring in the darkness. So like so, the effect, by keyframing it, you can go right from day into night looking. So that's how you do that, but we want to take it steps further. So let's go ahead and take off the keyframe. We'll leave everything else the same. And the next thing we want to do is go to our effects so we can do the sky replacement and type in cure and drag that over onto your footage. All right. So as you can see, it looks really crappy right now. So the first thing we want to do is actually put our cure above our day to night effect. So we wanna drag that above it. This way we keep that, that dark looking um, nighttime without getting all muddy and whatnot. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is bring your spill level down because what's happened is it's changing the color. So if we bring it down, we retain our color. Now we're gonna click over here on sample color and click in the area that we wanna darken, which would be the sky. Just drag that out to where you like it. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So now we have that. We want to get your footage that you're going to put underneath for the sky. Whether this is clouds, time lapse, fireworks, whatever you know you want to do. Um, that's what we're going to do. So as you can see right now, the effect is starting to work. You can see the fireworks, but obviously that is not realistic looking. I'll go right here to transform, holding shift, gonna drag it up some or drag it in, make it a little bit, a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna drag the whole footage up about where I think it needs to be and hit done. As you can see, this looks better. It's more in the sky area and not in the cars and whatnot. I mean, it's that simple guys on how you do the effect as far as getting it to work. All right, guys, before we move on to our next step, what I'm going to do is play and get this a little bit better. So like I told you at the beginning, we have our spill level down, which is great. Leave your edge um, distance alone. Now, if you go through this, you can see how our hair is getting transparent right here. So what I want to do is add a little bit fill holes to fill in those holes. And that totally fixes the issue of the transparent hair. Um, and then also you can come under here to your erode. You can pull up the erode a little bit and that will darken down things a little bit more to give you more of that night feel. And then of course you can play with your shrink and expand. You see if you move it to the left, things go even darker. So you can play with that to taste. If you move it all the way to the right, that's what happens. So just maybe minus one is good. We are really trying to perfect that nighttime look before we go on. So I think that looks good and believable. So what we want to do is take our original clip and we want to duplicate that. And you can command C it and then command V it above. But I like to just click on option and drag it straight up. So you're taking your original footage and you're just making another layer of it. So what you want to do is click on that top layer, which now is your original footage and undo the effects like the keyer in the day to night. So right where I want to transition into where she gives the eyes is where I want to bring in the nighttime look. You want to come to your compositing and your inspector. And as you can see right now, everything is 100% opacity. We're going to keyframe it and come over to the eye contact. And then we're going to bring that opacity down. Boom. So now when you keyframe it, the beginning starts out normal and then the effect fades in. Now that looks a little bit different from 
my original. There's fireworks coming in in the day like that. I did not like that. I just took my footage and I dragged it over to where I thought the best place was for that. So as it gets dark, then that pops in. Now, the effect looks smooth itself, but this can definitely be tweaked to your taste, and that's gonna be totally up to you guys on what you do with that to get it tweaked and dialed in like you want it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna see more stuff like this and also films that I make, click that subscribe button right now. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss when my next video pops up, and be sure to smash that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.